I was just wondering if you could kind of go into a little bit about your journey in the entertainment industry and kind of how you got into acting and singing and dancing and just entertainment uh, in general. <laughs> so I was kind of born into it. My mom was a talent manager and my cousins and siblings were like in it. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I fell into that. I started at Debbie Allen's Dance Academy um, and then kind of grew from there, you know, uh, uh, acted and, and and did different things, which led me to like meeting certain people that then opened up my eyes to filmmaking, which made me want to be a director and a producer, and then kind of like did the gambit of like shadowing directors, which means like you go on set like on big shows and like watch them direct, um, okay. and then did my first pilot myself, and then now we're here. Awesome. So you have worked on shows like Glee. Uh, what was it like um, working on the show and how has that uh, shaped, you know, your experience or how has that, how has that experience shaped your career as a whole? I think it was a blessing because I was so young on that show. Everyone was um, and it kind of became like a phenomenon. So it was great to see a, a huge engine up close um, moving from, from the ground. Um, mm -hmm. I think it, it shaped my perspective in the way that I know anything is possible um, and to have a spirit of excellence and to go after greatness. Um, yeah, it just opened up so many doors and, and, and even internally visions for what trajectory and route I wanted to go and want to go in my life. Okay. Could you, are there any like memorable moments from being a part of a production or just in your career or that and pe with people that you've encountered that uh, have like shaped you or have taught you lessons throughout your career? Yeah, working with Ava DuVernay and Anthony Hemingway and Lena Way, I think it taught me to uh, be specific in my storytelling, also to be generous as a human when I walk onto set as a leader, um, that everyone feels welcome and seen and that everyone's on the same playing field. I think that uh, reigns true in both professional and personal life, that that to love on people and to be good to people. Um, so yeah, I think that's definitely shaped me as a human, as a filmmaker, and as a person. And you are the founder of The Talcum Company. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about uh, your mission and, you know, the projects that you're working on to amplify the voices of marginalized communities? Yeah, so I just want to tell stories, you know, with, you know, Black and brown people at the center that often aren't told, whether it's superhero stories or dramas or art house films um, that give us permission to be human and live in different spaces that we don't often see. Um, to debunk stereotypes or to live them up and then show a different side of that to make them more humanized. Um, we have, you know, a number of shows coming up and movies and projects. So just really like doing the work, you know, to to put something different and new and, and add to the zeitgeist of what's out there now. Awesome. And you did mention that you have a lot of upcoming projects. Can you share a little bit about those projects or just any collaborations in general that you're excited about? Well, I can only share what my family is doing one, but I can't talk too much about it. But this is also different. You know, everyone has its own like little uh, pulse on it. You know, I'm working with some other new young filmmakers as well to help support their voices and them. I'm bringing their business to life. So I'm just excited all around. And going back to, you know, your the beginning of your career, um, what kind of inspired you um, or who inspired you to pursue a career in both acting and music? And, you know, how do you balance your passion for both of those things? Um, I think Sister Act 2 is what made me care about dancing and singing and, and, and acting because I was so young when I saw it. And they kind of did all three. And Lauren Hill, of course, was amazing in that. Um and I don't think I balanced them. I think at different sectors in my life, one has ro risen to the top and I've been mm -hmm. obedient to allow that to happen and to go on that journey with that. And then if I ever want to shift and pivot to give myself permission to do just that. Um, but I don't think we have to just be one thing. We can be the totality of all of who we are. Um, how do you use your platform to, 
you know, support philanthropic causes and to, you know, empower the youth? I think I'd like to, I just like to give back, you know, I like to, to create spaces where young people can see themselves, um, see where they can go, um, to not be regulated to what they've been told or who they've been told they're allowed to be, um, to hopefully in some way be an example uh, of living like my life out loud so people don't feel afraid to do the same. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it's just being as, as authentic and, and imperfectly human while still desiring to be the best version of myself at the same time. Right. Awesome. So how do you approach your role as a showrunner, executive producer, and director uh, for a la carte on M AMC streaming platform? And are there any specific challenges or rewards that come with those positions? Um, so they're all such different positions, um, but I, I attack them all in a in must get done way. I think directing allows the most creative um, juices to flow to, to work with the talent and the other crew. The show running and EP side is very much the business side, so they have to kind of like melt. It has to be the job has to be done, but hopefully we do it in a fun way that um, brings some form of entertainment and excellence. Um, and there's so many complications and challenges. Every day is a challenge. That's what filmmaking is. It's an opportunity to overcome a challenge creatively. You know, you okay. lost this location. This person's late. Uh, this doesn't make sense anymore because we changed this part of the script. Um, so you have to be able to think on your feet, you know. And and the, the most rewarding part is seeing it all come together at the end, despite and in spite of all those challenges. Right. Um, is there any particular message that you hope that viewers take away from your work, whether it be through your acting or music or what you do in production? What would you want people to take away? That they have permission to be themselves and to live out loud. Um, and that, you know, uh, life isn't perfect and it's hard and, and, that days aren't always going to be beautiful, but that the end goal is beautiful and that you're worth fighting until you're worth going on the journey to figure out what your peak is, to figure out what your journey is. And in the process, not forgetting that you have something to offer to someone behind you right where you are. And finally, <laughs> what advice do you have for aspiring artists who want to you know, pursue a career in the entertainment industry? I'd say just create. I'd say create. Get out there right now. 